what can I say about Amy Williams of AB Unlimited? Um, inspiring. In November, she participated in a free five-week course that we did uh, with the Village of Pinecrest. She attended every single class, including all of the repeats. The only person in more than a thousand people who registered who attended every single class. And I said to my team, I need to figure out who is this Amy Williams and why is she coming to all of the classes, including the repeats? Well, I spoke to Amy and what I learned is that this is a dynamo, a never say die, in just living embodiment of everything that BizHack stands for and aspires to be. Um, and I wanted to give her husband and business partner, Brian, a chance uh, to introduce his wife, uh, his life partner, his business partner, Amy Williams, BizHacker Award winner. Uh, as, uh, Brian, welcome. Hey, thanks. Wow, where do I start? Uh, well, we just passed 15 years uh, married and about 18 years together. And if I could sum up Amy in one word, it would be passionate. Um, she is very passionate about everything she does from her relationship, from her, her, her marriage, her family, her choices in business, everything. She does not do anything less than 150%. Um, she's, man, the last few weeks, last six weeks, she's been burning the candle at both ends because she wants everything to be right, perfect, and done in any adjusting, in any order of those three things that you can come up with. Uh, she's an amazing person. I love her to death. And um, man, she's easily the smartest thing I ever did. And I have to be the dumbest thing she ever did because um, I totally married up and she settled. But, uh, but no, I'm good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I, I personally have accomplished and done more because of her than I ever would have without her. So she is everything to me. So that's what I got. Amy, you're up. Oh, gosh. The story of how I slayed the digital marketing dragon, <laughs> part two. Oh, oh, let's see. When I was little, I was told that I had a neurological disorder and that I would always be different from everybody else. Doctors said that I would have limitations on what I could achieve. My parents had other ideas and raised me to believe that different wasn't always a bad thing. In fact, it was something to be celebrated. This belief helped me become a world-class athlete, a college graduate, a lawyer, a wife, and a business owner. Now I get to spend my days helping other businesses shine their light and celebrate their uniqueness by branding their company logos on promotional products to share with the world. And on April 30th, we launched a new brand, AB Golf, the leading resource for corporate branded golf merchandise and the subject of the Big Hat Cohort 18 campaigns. Pillars one through three, we set an awareness campaign with an objective of video views. Based on the customer persona, the core audience consisted of finding the locations in markets where there were going to be top of the tier golf courses and major business corporations that were domiciled in those markets because corporate executives love to golf. We chose places like Hilton Head Island, Palm Springs, Las Vegas, Pebble Beach, San Francisco, uh, Dallas, Los Angeles. The age range was 25 to 65, and we also zoned in on interests, food, industries, music, family, education. And our free irresistible offer was win a free golf gift for the first 100 subscribers to sign up on our website. Our pillar four was our thumb stopping video, Golf is Our Game. I wish I could play it for you because it's really kind of cool. And we intentionally kept it under 10 seconds because in our previous cohort, my videos were 30 seconds and a minute long each, and they didn't have very good video views at all. So the 10 second mark seemed to work for us. Our compelling message was to retarget the through plays of the core audience from the first campaign and using the lead generation using the Facebook form. I also ran a third campaign simultaneously with the same video using the lookalike audience of the core audience from the first campaign, and the objective for that was for video views. We also used the Facebook lead generation form instead of having it go to our website directly. 
The results, three ads, total of $130. On the first awareness ad, we had 29,613 impressions and the reach for that particular was 14,345 people. On the second ad, we had 2,941 impressions because we only targeted 1,630 people that played the video all the way through from the first ad campaign. That reach was actually 576 people. On the lookalike audience ad, we had an impression of 5,000, just over 5,000 impressions and the reach was 3,845 people. We had 16, five and 91 clicks to our website. So the winner was actually the lookalike of the core audience on our third ad because we had 91 clicks to our website. We didn't have any lead gen form fills for the Facebook ad, but I intentionally set more fields to fill out because I wanted to make sure that these people were qualified as potential customers rather than just filling it out for the sake of winning a really expensive golf gift. Um, we had a decent video view through place, 289, 87, and 300. From the lookalike ad, we determined that we had two leads sign up and subscribe to our website. Now the average golf order is $500. So the two leads generate um, potentially $1,000 in revenue. And if we just take the amount of money that I spent on the third ad, which was $40, Tati and I figured out that the return on ad spend was 25X. The cost per lead will be $65 per lead if we actually use the total of the $130 that we spent. And we determined that $65 per lead when they'll be spending potentially $500 or more on an order is good math for us. Okay. The ahas. Exploring different channels such as LinkedIn, email marketing, and TikTok are going to be in our future. Drilling down on your customer persona for your ad audience is key. The specificity is actually king. Once we did that, and I worked really hard on drilling down what that persona looked like, I began to see major results compared to my first attempt at Facebook ads um, in March. The lookalike audience of core audience increased the traffic. And lastly, try and try again. What's next? Well, dragon was slayed, enough said. I'm gonna take a vacation and reflect on the cohort 18 results and strategize a calendar for new future campaigns for monthly Facebook ads. Secondly, definitely consulting with Dan and the BizHack team. It's obvious that we can't do this alone. I'm going to need to build out a team either by hiring a fractional CMO to help build out a framework for the future and bring in consultants that can check in with us at least on a quarterly basis so that we make sure that we have a map for the year on what we need to do for our um, marketing campaigns. We're also going to set goals, slay them, and repeat. Now that I've improved my Facebook skills a lot with, with ads and I have nearly slayed the Facebook business suite, I'm going to be repeating this entire process with a brand new brand that we're launching in the fall called the Promo Lawyer. I want to thank Dan and the entire BizHack team, Tati, Ricardo, and all of my cohort classmates. I would not have been able to do this without you guys, especially Michelle Rupp. You have been my strength. And I want you all to remember that the leading resource for corporate branded golf merchandise, AB Golf. I'm Amy Williams, and I'm the CEO of AB Unlimited Worldwide.